Testing, testing. <clears throat> hey folks, my name is James Sullivan, and I'm proud to be here to show you one of my latest effects creations. The clip you're watching right now is the final shot from a short film I directed and am still in the process of making. In this scene, our actor here, Sean, is leaving a house that he's been at throughout this entire short film to go to his own house. When I shot this scene, it was on a GRHD1 camcorder and it was roughly 7 p.m. in the summertime. So we had pretty good lighting. The problem though is that in the movie itself it's supposed to be 11 p.m. So as you can tell here by how the shot turned out, it doesn't quite look like 11 p.m. And that means I've got to do some work using Adobe After Effects. Now I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. I'm just going to give you a layout of the different phases I put this footage through. Since it doesn't quite look dark enough, I figured a nice day for night tinting would do, but that's still not quite enough for the whole scene. In the scene prior to this one, we saw that the front hall inside the house had its lights on. That wind over there should be glowing, so I have to brighten it up. There we go. I added a second layer of the footage, matted off the window, and added a glow effect. And as you can see, it tracks the window rather nicely, except here's the next problem. As you can see in the original shot here, Sean passes in front of the window. So I had to duplicate the footage again, this time matting off his form along with the guitar case on his back. This way it looks like the light from the window is naturally glaring behind him. My next problem is the sky. Simply tinting the sky blue won't make it look like it's nighttime. But if I put an alpha key on it, it starts to look more like night. I'll be the first to admit the king didn't work out as well as I'd hoped, but it worked out eventually. As I'll show you in a bit. One thing I hadn't quite noticed was that the neighbor's light was on while I was filming, and applying the day for night filter just doesn't cut it. So I did a process similar to that of the window. Only this time there's a miniaturized adjustment layer tracking it instead of a new mat. So I have all the right things in place for a convincing night shot, but there's still one thing missing. Shouldn't the sky have stars or something? I know how to fix that. I created a star layer with a photograph of stars I found online as a backdrop, and to make it look more like I'm not just staring upwards, I matted off the stars at a certain point and even added in the moon as a nice touch. Proper layering, and several motion trackers later, I was able to add my star composition into the final shot. So let's see how everything looks now as a final shot. Not bad, eh? The night's pretty blue, but for the sake and style of the movie, I think the blueness works out rather nicely. Other filmmakers may not wish to have their nights as blue, but like I said, it depends on the style you're going for. As you can see now, some of the artifacts I couldn't get rid of with the alpha mat appear to be doubling as stars in the night sky. And if you have a sharp eye, you may even notice that the plastic strap hanging from the zipper on the case looks a little different. That's because during the alpha keying process, I noticed the strap was starting to disappear. So, I added a hand-drawn strap over it to cover it up. You'll notice that the daylight reflecting off the top of the cars is still there, which is why I added the moon into the scene to make it more like moonlight. In the end, I noticed a few things here and there, like maybe there should have been other lights in the neighborhood that I could have put glows on, or maybe I should have turned on the lamp on the front porch. But then again, you can't really see any other lights in the neighborhood, and not everyone keeps their porch light on overnight. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of my artistic skill and abilities, and if I make anything else significant enough to showcase, I will do so. This is James Sullivan, signing off.